Hello and welcome to day three of Adobe Summit. We are live in Las Vegas here at the Summit Think Tank live in the Community Pavilion. I'm Wendy Steinle, Director of Marketing Strategy and Operations at Adobe, and I'm joined today by John Meller, Vice President of Strategy, Alliances, and Marketing. And we're going to talk a little bit about just what Summit has meant this year. So John, thank you so much for joining us. Wow, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's a so cool environment, I, I love this. I, I know it <laughs> is, and Summit has been so much energy. We've had two amazing days of keynotes, lots of sessions, community pavilion. You know, what have been your key takeaways? Well, you know, I think the, um, a couple of things that have, have really impressed me this year. First of all, I think the energy of the attendees is really kind of palpable. I, yeah. I feel an energy of, you know, people really feeling invigorated around this concept of experience and the fact that our roles now are much bigger than just being marketers, but we're really, uh, we're kind of driving this next evolution of the enterprise, which is around experience. Um, and, you know, and we're here in the, in the community pavilion uh, where we have over 125 sponsors, so this is much bigger than Adobe. I, I love the fact that if you, if you walk around to some of these different sponsors that are here, you get people who will help you do everything from auditing your implementation on your website to translate your content into dozens of different languages, or they'll help you connect to your call center, or they'll help you track mouse movements on your web page. I mean, it's just, it's a big ecosystem where we're all in this kind of positive energy wave of, of tackling experience. I think people, there's a lot of energy for that. Yeah, absolutely. I want to go back to something you said in your keynote. You said emotion is the currency of experience. Can you talk to us a little bit about what that means? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I think when you think experience, a lot of times you can think of experience as um, just being efficient, right? Just being able to, to move from point A to point B efficiently. And yes, that's part of experience, but we want to do it with a little more style. We want to do it with more purpose or more meaning. And that's where I think we, when in the, the age of digital, we have so many more tools at our disposal. We have audio, we have video, we have you know, cross device um, interactions, even cross departmental interactions that, that brands have with consumers. You know, there's an opportunity to help people feel something when they, when they go through those experiences and they go through the steps from A to B. And it, it's helping people feel that is the essence of what brands are really tasked with doing today because I don't want to just buy a product or buy a service. I'm really buying an experience. And the experience is made up of the emotions that I feel around that product or service. And so when I think about experience, and I break it down to how I judge an experience and how I think consumers judge an experience, it's based on what kind of emotion you can, you can have as you, as you perform that experience. Right. Maybe a good example of that, you know, we were joined on stage by Pam Eel, the CMO of NBA, and one of the things yeah. she said that struck me was that only 1% of the NBA fan base has actually ever been to a live game. And so obviously 99%, what does that say about the imperative for the digital experience? Yeah. I was struck by that stat as well. Yeah. It just, it really blew me away, but it makes, it makes sense when you think of how many fans there are even outside of the country. Um, who have to watch in different time zones and, and things like that. But, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, the, the NBA is a unique business because its product is experience. They don't manufacture anything, that you don't really walk away with a, with a, a good. You, you have an experience. And so their whole business is centered around how do I build an experience around this event that is happening. And you know, Pam talked about all the different touch points that they now have to enable. Um, you know, and it's the, the standard touch points you might think of, of you, know, you have to have a mobile app and you have to have on-demand content that's time shifted for people that are in different countries or different time zones. But you know, I think what, uh, what, what struck me is how they're, they're building in those different channels with different types of experiences or different angles on the experience. So I may be watching an NBA game and want to watch it through the eyes of a specific player. So I can open up the app and watch you know, 
how many how many points is has LeBron had so far? How many rebounds has he had? How you know the uh, you know the triple double race is is kind of heating it's up exciting. right now, uh, and so it's it's those different angles on the content that you have to really support an individual's desire and preferences for consuming the content, and the NBA has just really done an, an awesome job. Some of the videos she showed, they just, they give you chills. Made me teary-eyed. Oh, it, yeah. And, you know, to think of a, a business like that and how it is a, such a good example of experience. And that's all they do. They just yeah. build experiences. Well, that really brings me to the second thing that struck me about your keynote. You gave a call to action to the entire audience, which is to become experience ambassadors. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how that mindset would be different from if I call myself a marketer? Yeah, you know, and I think that that really gets to the essence of how this industry has transformed over the last few years. Because a lot of this technology was invented in digital marketing. And the ability to measure, to optimize and personalize content was born in digital marketing. And so I think there's been a lot of a lot of pride in the digital marketing community that hey we're kind of ahead of the ahead of the curve we're driving this wave of personalization and that's been great, but we're to the point now where those concepts of measurement optimization and personalization they've moved beyond marketing, they have moved to the other areas of the of the enterprise, where I want just as personal an experience when I deal with customer support at a brand not just when they're trying to sell me something. Absolutely. When I walk into a store and deal with you know, the, the individual behind the customer service desk, I want them to know me. When I call their, their, uh, you know, their call center, I want them to know me. Mm -hmm. And so these concepts that we grew up uh, you know, inventing and perfecting in digital marketing have moved beyond marketing. So when you, when you talk about being a marketer, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of pride in that, and rightfully so. But the goal is to kind of elevate our vision and realize we're now more than marketing. We're about experience. And it's the people here at this conference that have to take that message back to our teams, back to our entire organizations. And we have to be the ones in a lot of cases to pound our fist on the table and say, no, experience matters. And we must pay attention to experience. And so I view everybody here kind of as, as an ambassador. They don't, they're not just doing a job they're kind of leading a movement, and we have to be ambassadors around leading that movement. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to put a wrap on Adobe Summit 2017. We're at the last day here. Do you have any parting thoughts? Oh, you know, this will go, uh, this will go counter to most everything else you think about Vegas. <laughs> but I really hope that what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas in the case of this Adobe Summit, because we need to all go back and take this energy back to our teams and our enterprises and keep pushing this because this is the future. Well, thank you so much for that perspective. I hope we take it all to heart and thank you all for joining us for this live Adobe Think Tank from Adobe Summit 2017.